We have a saying in the Lost Civilizations game. The higher the pedestal, the longer the fall. Just when a culture appears to have dominated everything, just when it seems to have used its power and wealth to purchase, as it were, immortality, poof. What was our downfall? Well, the ancient Greeks would have called it hubris. For Sunset Man, living as he did in the scientific age, it would have to be called... Well, I suppose it would have to be called stupidity. Or arrogance. Stupidity or arrogance, either one. My wife calls it evil, but that is not really a technical term. Still, there are some in the academic world who subscribe to a less violent theory of Sunset Man's disappearance. Perhaps foremost among them is French archaeologist and art historian Dr. Francois Julien. No, I think what happened is very clear. I think it's clear what happened. One day, these people, these mountain village people, took a good look at their homes, their community, and suddenly saw it for the first time. Do you know what I mean? Really saw it. The huge, unwelcoming spaces, the need to shout, I'm rich, look at me, with every stone, every log, the imitation Western decor, the Disneyland facade. You know, in French, we have an expression, sans âme. That means to be empty, really, to, to have no soul. This place, this mountain village, it has no soul. It has no soul. And in the end, to live in a place that has no soul, well, ce n'est pas possible. Ce n'est pas possible. And so, as is so often the case, an investigation of this mystery seems to raise as many questions as it answers. Clearly, there were many signs that the mountain village civilization could not sustain itself. Like a tick about to burst, it clearly fell prey to its own gluttonous excess. And at the same time, its inhabitants had created for themselves a false sense of security with regard to a hostile outside world. Did they starve to death? Were they murdered? Or did they simply walk off into the sunset, suddenly beset by the realization that their lives and community were empty, wasteful, and tasteless displays of dominance and wealth? To ponder these questions in itself no doubt makes us richer. Though in the end, we may never know what really happened to the lost people of Mountain Village. I dreamed I was lost in a city of stone And the people that dwell there were marble I listened in vain for any fountain silver tone in vain for any sweet bird's friendly warble. It was silent as a grave in that city of stone. Not one soul to save, not one voice to cheer me on. I was frightened in my heart and cold to the bone as I wandered in my dream. City of Stone I dreamed I was lost In a city of stone And the people that dwell there were marble I wandered the alleyway 